Singer Whitney Houston has finally been laid to rest. Jay-Z and Beyonce take a break from their parental duties for a night out together. And Kim Kardashian is in a bikini. Again. Nuff said. Plus, all the best celeb sightings of the week from our team of over 2,000 photographers around the world. That's all on Splash, the paparazzi's own TV show. As the world mourns, a mound of flowers lay on top of pop legend Whitney Houston's final resting place. The iconic pop singer was laid to rest right next to her father, John Russell Houston Jr., in a private ceremony at the Fairview Cemetery in Westfield, New Jersey. Her body was brought to the cemetery in a golden hearse. Media and fans gathered outside of the funeral home, with some reportedly shouting, We love you, Whitney! as the hearse slowly passed. This was quite different from Whitney's much larger star-studded funeral service, which celebrated the diva's all-too-short life. The 48-year-old singer, whose voice captivated and uplifted millions, died February 11th at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Thank you. Yeah, do you want to see it? I'm not, I'm not. I'm not I'm right. Do you want to see yeah, a trip? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Trip? Yeah. 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 Right. Cool. Nice to meet you on Ben. Yeah. 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 Right. Cool. Uh, I'll tell you what do. We'll be super quick then. I won't even do any of this stuff. I'll just do that. Um, me and you haven't set this up or anything. Uh, there are 52 cards. Think of one. Got it? No, my name is. Ace of spades. Jenny from the block still knows how to shape those hips. Our splash cameras caught Jennifer Lopez as she danced while watching the carnival with boyfriend Casper Smart in Rio de Janeiro. JLo's manager also joined the pair as they watched the festivities from a VIP box. Jennifer looked red hot as she showed off her curves in a bright red outfit. Earlier in the day, Jennifer and Casper greeted fans as they hung out on the balcony from their hotel room. The couple appear inseparable and they have not been shy about their budding relationship. And now the romance is on in Rio. It was a Jay and Bay date night. Enjoying some quality couple time, Jay-Z and Beyonce made their first public appearance together since the birth of their daughter, Blue Ivy Carter. While taking a break from their parental duties, the two enjoyed an NBA basketball game. Sitting side by side at the Madison Square Garden, they cheered on Jay-Z's co-owned New York Nets as they played new NBA sensation Jeremy Lin and the New York Knicks. The music power couple couldn't contain their love as they embraced and shared a laugh too. Beyonce looked superb as she wore a bright yellow blazer with sky-high platform heels and skinny jeans. The duo clearly had one great NBA day. How you doing, Mr. Newhart? Oh, yeah. I'm good, I'm good. How you doing? Good, thank you. You're looking really good. Thank you. Let me ask you a question. If a turtle doesn't have a shell, is it homeless or just naked? <laughs> it's a good one, huh? Homeless. Homeless, homeless huh? <laughs> well, listen, it's great to see you. Thank you. You look good. Have a great day. It's Take care. That's what? Quiet day today. I'm sorry? Quiet. Yeah, pretty quiet. Yeah, pretty quiet. Birthday girl Rihanna seems to be in the middle of a three night bender. After pulling an all nighter the night before, the singer headed out with Chloe Green to celebrate her 24th birthday at Japanese restaurant Nozomi in Knightsbridge, London. Wearing a backless black jumpsuit with a furry coat, Riri entered the restaurant through a swarm of flashing cameras. Rihanna had earlier stood out from the crowd on her birthday by stepping out in another daring get-up involving red suspenders as she made her way to rehearsals 
for the Brit Awards. Not only did she turn 24, but she also dropped her anticipated new single, Birthday Cake, which features her ex-boyfriend, Chris Brown. It has been a little over three years since Chris Brown was arrested for assaulting then-girlfriend Rihanna, and to say all is forgiven seems to be an understatement. Good luck to Rihanna at the Brit. You bet she's tired. George Clooney might be the most eligible man in all of Hollywood, but the Academy Award-winning actor admits that he has suffered bouts of loneliness. No, that's right, you heard us correctly, George Clooney gets lonely. Though he has sported a succession of attractive arm candy, the likes of current girlfriend Stacey Keebler and ex Elisabetta Canales, the international superstar told The Hollywood Reporter that he's often felt loneliest in a public arena. Even more surprising, the heartthrob actor said that he's been cheated on and even dumped. Perhaps such experience is where he drew his moving performance in The Descendants from, as he is nominated for an Oscar for that lead role. From what we've seen lately, George appears pretty happy and content with his lady love, Stacy, by his side. And good news for her, he said that he hasn't ruled out marriage. It's nice to know that even as Hollywood royalty, George is still human. You for the big one, big part for you. I know, he needs privacy. Don't oh, he needs privacy? Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. It's camera shy. He is camera shy, okay, I got it. Yeah, who is in the music? Yeah, Kim Kardashian's back on the market. She's back in a bikini. And, of course, she's showing off that backside. She's looking delightful, showing off for the first time since filing for the Big D. The reality TV star is spotted lounging around a friend's pool in Miami. But after the past few months, it looks like she's more eager to test the waters before jumping right in. Kim's still an animal though, so she's not afraid to get her feet wet. Here she is hitting the beach with her bestie, Jonathan Shebin, switching to a playful purple bikini. Despite a sandy past few months, she still demonstrates that she can be the head poncho, or honcho, we've come to know. Still to come, Amanda Knox lands a huge paycheck to tell the never before heard stories about her years in an Italian jail. Nick Cannon's life takes another hit as the entertainment mogul is told to slow down by doctors. And Reese Witherspoon recently got engaged, but you won't believe who the actress has a celebrity crush on. It's been a tough ride for Amanda Knox, but now she's finally getting some payback for her uphill pedaling. Along with her newfound freedom, she's reportedly receiving a $4 million advance for her upcoming tell-all about her years behind bars in an Italian jail. Remember Amanda Knox, the girl acquitted in October 2011 after being convicted of murdering British student Meredith Kircher. According to CBS News, Amanda wants to pen a book based on years of never-before-told stories in order to pay back her family, who is more than a million dollars in debt after defending her. Well, we guess we can start nicknaming Amanda Fort Knox because she'll be bringing in the gold. Ladies and gentlemen, David Arquette in the house, right here. You all know him from Scream 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, how many days? Four, just, just four? That's right. What's your poker advice to making that final table today, Dave? Uh, I'm really not a great poker player, so who will take my advice. Uh, don't listen to that. The last tournament I was at with him was with what? With uh, Willie Nelson and... Um, Willie Nelson Charity Tournament at, at the Hustler, man. You had a great time there. I did. I always have fun. I always have fun. <laughs> well, we're going to have a lot of fun with David Arcade here today. So, ladies and gentlemen, take some pictures. Say hi right here. Man, I got too many jobs already. I almost died a couple of weeks ago. I need to go relax. Nick Cannon said it himself. He has too many professional commitments, and due to health reasons, the new father of twins is quitting his New York City radio show, Rollin' with Nick Cannon. Nick released a statement saying that he's 
going to ease up on his professional life so his body can get the rest it needs to recover from last month's kidney failure and recent blood clots in his lungs. The multitasking host says that he had overworked his body and he's in the process of rebooting his entire immune system. With wife Mariah Carey and the twins to take care of, we're sure that he can use the break. Plus, just like a cannon, his fans know he'll fire back. all the Hollywood gossip. Kelly Ripa, America's sweetheart, looks fantastic at 41. The TV host exercises every day and doesn't deprive herself of anything, but she says it's mostly to quiet her mind and the toned body is just a bonus. Minnie Driver reveals who her baby daddy is. Well, sort of anyway. Driver says her son's father was one of the writers on The Riches. The actress says there's no need to protect him anymore. He's an adult and needs to take responsibility. Molly Sims is five months pregnant and she can't stop smiling about it, despite her husband Scott's idea to name the baby Duke, which she rejected because that's already their dog's name. The model turned actress is due sometime in June. America's favorite wild child Miley Cyrus got the inside of her left bicep tattoo with the words, Love Never Dies. Perhaps the tattoo is an inspiration after her dad opted to not divorce her mom, or it's an homage to her man Liam. She did it with George Clooney last year, and now Elizabeth Canales is smooching with Steve-O at Shinto, the same restaurant she and Clooney shared a kiss or two with. It must be something in the meatballs. I hear Steve is going to be um, um, performing his last show. Is that yeah, him? yeah, yeah. I talked to him yesterday. He's touring, so he's going to be out, and he's doing like his last show out here. Like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I'll probably be there. We'll all be there. That's my man, you know. Cool. That'd be good to talk show going. The Kings of Comedy is back together again. Yeah. That'd be good. The Kings of Comedy, yeah. Can you get with him in Bahama tonight? Yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to hang with him. Are you? I'm teach him how to duck. All right, Sam. All right, man. Thanks, man. It may well have been the film where they met for the first time, but there was clearly little time for sentiment from Jennifer Aniston at the premiere of Wanderlust as she decided to pose on her own instead of with her boyfriend, Justin Theroux. Justin had to pose with his co-star Paul Rudd instead at the showing of their film in Westwood, California. Jennifer did pay plenty of attention to all her co-stars though, even the female ones, and was seen pretending to share a kiss with Marley Ackerman. Jen was certainly playing up for the cameras as she posed in front of a poster for the film pretending to pinch the bottoms of herself and Paul. Jen and Justin may not have posed together at the premiere, but are these two taking it to the next level? What is that we spy on Miss Aniston's finger? Very suspicious. Taylor Swift looks hot as she rocks polka dots. Our splash camera has caught up with the country crooner after she grabbed a bite to eat at Hollywood hotspot Toast. Taylor, who made a name for herself by writing about heartbreak and love, is currently relationship free. That's right, she is on the market, gentlemen. In a recent interview with Access Hollywood, the 22-year-old revealed that she is completely single. Adding that she is really good at it too. She stated that as much as she loves to complain about being single, she is actually very independent and really good by herself. Swift is single and we bet a whole lot of guys are ready to mingle. How you doing Nick? Oh, good. Are you feeling, feeling on the weather a little bit? A uh, little bit, man. Oh, man. Stay far away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, if you had to choose some candy, Skittles, Reese's Pieces, or M&M's? All of them, dude. <laughs> All right, them up into one ball. You got it. Take care. Get to feeling better. Thank you. Reese Witherspoon may have a lot of Hollywood friends, but she's got her eyes on the Silver Spoon. The A-list actress tells Ellen DeGeneres that she has a woman crush on the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton. The This Means War star got a chance to meet the royal newlywed at a fundraiser and was so nervous she tried on six different outfits because, of course, the right outfit could spark a royal relationship. Reese may live across the pond, but she hopes Kate will call her and they can hang out. 
We know even her husband, Jim Toth, made fun of her for it. But even so, the actress says that Kate was lovely, and it's nice to see someone act like a lady with such composure in this day and age. We suppose if Reese is used to these types around her, we can see what she means. Well, Kate, the ball is in your royal court. Still to come, no chance of a reconciliation seal? The singer steps out without his wedding ring. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez spend a nice family afternoon at Chuck E. Cheese. And we take a look at Lynn Sanity, the phenomenon that has captured the hearts and minds of billions of people around the world. Seal, so how's Heidi and the kids going, mate? Are they going to come out and join you? Here's Seal arriving in Australia. He's here to be a judge on the talent show The Voice, but so far he's quiet. But you know what's really loud, though? Those neon nails. And look, no wedding ring. It looks like things are officially done between him and his wife, Heidi Klum. Recently, he's been telling the media that his wedding ring is a token of how he feels about Heidi. He still loves her, and he wants to reconcile. But maybe Seal's plans to fix their marriage have gone down under with him. Considering the supermodel was spotted just days before wearing her wedding ring in Los Angeles, we thought his plan was working. Now it looks like the nails may not have been such a bright idea. I think I'm going to sign the beard and the sign on your right side. The white Cheese may need to modify its slogan from where a kid can be a kid to where Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez can be kids. We spotted the lovebirds in Los Angeles enjoying all the family entertainment center has to offer. But they weren't alone. The Selena and the Biebs paid a visit to the pizza joint with his two little sisters in tow and, like good babysitters, kept a watchful eye on them the entire time. Ms. Gomez, however, did manage to sign a few autographs, putting huge smiles on these adorable faces and turning this to-go box into one super cool souvenir. You know, if Justin makes this a regular thing, this kitty hotspot might want to think about changing its name to Chucky e. Beach. What? Not good? It sounds like Charlie Sheen is done being Mr. Nice Guy. When talking about Ashton Kutcher and his former sitcom Two and a Half Men, Gene finally let out a few torpedoes of truth on the matter. While talking to TMZ, he revealed that he is tired of lying and pretending that the show doesn't suck, adding that he is also tired of pretending that Ashton doesn't suck. Ouch! Charlie had previously been polite about the show and his successor Ashton Kutcher, but that didn't last too long. However, Sheen did go on to say that it's nothing personal, stating that he just feels bad for Ashton because he is saddled with such bad writing. Touché, Mr. Sheen. It's nice to have you back. Maybe it's all that tiger blood. They love you, Coke. Okay. Well, you should see me while I'm out on the beach. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> Trust me. I've seen story. the beach pictures. My Lord have mercy. So all the assets are real, but the um, top of the tatas are not, and everything. Yes, they're enhanced, and even before they were enhanced, they were very cute and turkey. <laughs> I just wanted it to even out the lower half of my, you know. Well, your posterior is awesome, just to let you know. Hey, how are you? Yeah, hey, I'm well, good. Well, how are you? Hey, sorry. <laughs> How's it going? I'm good. I don't want people here to show you with cabinets. <laughs> Paul McCartney has revealed that he is finally stopping smoking cannabis and it is all down to the sense of responsibility he feels to his eight-year-old daughter Beatrice. In an interview with Rolling Stone magazine, the 69-year-old admitted to smoking weed a lot but said it was finally time to give up smoking the drug due to a sense of responsibility in caring for his daughter. The Beatles star has admitted to using drugs throughout his career. Bob Dylan introduced him to the Wacky Backy in the mid-60s. Paul was arrested for cannabis possession in Sweden at his Scottish farm in 1972 and was deported from Japan in 1980 for having half a pound of marijuana. He was later arrested in Barbados. Maka is finally shaking his hippie roots. Peace, man. 
We knew that rumor Willis could use a little more glee in her life right now, and it looks like she got some. The aspiring actress is reportedly spending time with Glee star Mark Salling. Rumor attended a private music party in Hollywood where she spent most of the night listening to the tune of Mark. Her new friend could be a nice distraction for the aspiring actress who recently witnessed her mom, Demi Moore, get hospitalized and apparently seek treatment for both drug addiction and eating disorders. Although Mark arrived to the party by himself earlier, according to People, an observer watched him leave the event with his new friend. If the rumor is true, she could have had a glee lightful night. You hunted ghosts today? Definitely doesn't uh, drink vodka. Uh, you like got the record? The record? Yes. You, you hunted ghosts today? I'm sorry? You hunted ghosts? Uh, always hunting ghosts, yeah, no? sir. <laughs> like Berlin? Hey, beautiful. Great yeah. city, great people. Two more. Thank you, thank you. And they love the Blues Brothers, right? Yes, yes. in Blues Brothers. There's a good record there. Yes. 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 Where's your wife? She's uh, out, probably visiting some historical sites. Oh, the Linsanity! There's the New York Knicks brand new Linsational, Lincredible, Linsane in the membrane, Jeremy Lin. But hey, want to see him before he was famous and the oddest thing in New York City's Lin crowd? No, no, we're not talking about an early February. We're keeping it Lin-tristing and going old school. Jeremy grew up in Palo Alto, California, where he, of course, grew up shooting to Lynn for Palo Alto High School. Check out the house he grew up in. They don't even have a basketball net up. That's because he did his ballin' at the local YMCA. Well, that's when he wasn't ballin' with his friends. Toga! 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 Seriously, who knew this fresh-faced California kid would blast off the bench and become the Lynn Ferno he is today? That's all the time we have for this week. With thousands of photographers stationed around the world, who will we snap next? To find out, tune in next week to Splash, the paparazzi's own TV show.